Here goes the worm blend. Man, I'm having like total bait maker's block. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with this. So I believe this is 24 worms right there. Round five. And we're just gonna toss them like, just like we're cooking. Oh, that's an awesome. What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, thanks for being here today, taking time out of your busy schedules to watch me make some fishing lures. So uh, recently, or yeah, recently, the most recent video uh, that we did, um, we took some new molds, um, kind of featuring the skirt and the grub and I got to thinking more about these soft plastic skirts and uh, you know, I've seen them on various baits um, over the years that, that other home bait makers make. And I was like, I wanna make a bunch of stick worms and then skirt them and see if I can catch a bass on them, which I should be able to. I, uh, I have a very bad track record of making a bait and then testing it in the same video. It seems to like never work then. I'll take it fishing uh, you know, later when I'm not filming and <laughs> catch fish so um, with that said I think what we're gonna be doing today is just running some stick worms um, I might just do sort of just like a big pile of the same color I, I don't think I'm I don't think I really want to do you know f three or four or five different variations here I want to get like one good laminate stick worm color and then throw a bunch of skirts on them and see what they look like I think this will be super fun um, it'll be kind of just another use, I guess, for the skirt mold. And uh, we're going to take a look at those right now. And always be sure to stay tuned for the very end of this video where we will be doing this video's color of the day. Okay, so here's the equipment that we're going to be using today. I have my stick worm molds here. Okay, I've had these a long time. All right. Any of y'all who have watched uh, my channel for any real length of time have definitely seen this mold. This is the Bass Tackle 5 inch BT stick mold. And uh, I have four of them for 16 cavities worth. And then for those of you who did not watch my most recent video um, where we made skirted grubs, first of all, rude. You should be watching all the videos. But I'm just gonna show that to you real fast before we use it. Yeah, three and a half inch skirt. So cool. I mean, th this really is a very, very uh, inspirational piece of equipment. And uh, since we're doing stick worms today, our plastic of choice is worm blend, obviously. Dun 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 dun. But uh, no, seriously, uh, dead on plastics. Um, you know, their worm blend or durometer, um, I think works really well for a stick worm. A lot of people. When they think about stick worms, they think it has to be super soft, like the Yamamoto's and all that stuff. Um, you know, look, custom bait making, you can do it however you want. Here goes the worm blend. Mixing her up, mixing her up. Yep. This is always a bait maker's first step. Before he does anything else, he has to mix his plastic. So, anyway, we're going to continue mixing this and try to think about what colors we might want to do today. Man, I'm having like total bait maker's block. I don't know what colors to use. All these colors and all these flakes and I can't think of anything. Okay, so we're gonna try sort of a yellow and blue color, all right? Something like that. You've seen the thumbnail, so uh, no surprise there. So we're just gonna start with some yellow on that side. And then we're gonna brighten it with a little bit of chartreuse, okay? These are both dead on pigments. All right, I don't know what my dog is barking at. But yeah, adding a little bit of chartreuse to yellow really brightens it up, as does uh, adding white, of course. So it just kind of depends on what shade of yellow you want, I reckon. It's looking pretty nice. It needs to be a little thicker, I'd say. All right. I love color building. This is so much fun. This is the fun part. <laughs> Seeing your colors come to life. All right, and then for the other side, we're gonna start with a blue base. This is just like the old dead on blue uh, little sample thing, but you can still get this pigment. Hush! I don't know what my dog is yakking at. 
All right, so we're gonna start with that. But we're also gonna add just a little bit of your Hobby Lobby special uh, blue pearl, just blue mica powder to give it a little bit of a pearly effect. All right. Let me uh, wipe off my hand here. All right, let's see where that gets us. Yeah, see, that's definitely looking better now. Um, but I wanna lighten it a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna add maybe two drops of white. Gotta be real careful adding white to your colors. It's kinda like adding black to your color. You can add way too much, way too fast, and it'll just change the whole vibe. Okay, so that right there wasn't too bad. We might actually, might actually add two more. All right. Yeah, looking good. And now we're just gonna add some black flake to each. Okay, just some square cut black flake. And uh, I think these will look really good together, hopefully. That's what, that's what we think at least. Okay. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna mix these in and meet y'all right back. Okay, there's what we came up with. Looks a lot like it did before. Um, I lightened the blue just a little bit and added a little bit of white to the yellow. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with this. All right, and now we're going to run our laminates. Got the blending block there, dual injector right here, and let's go. All right, hopefully those, uh, yeah, cannot talk. Hopefully those don't suck. All right, let's show you the contents of the blending block. Everybody seems to really like seeing this part. Yeah. So when those meet, they kind of form a green color. You can kind of see it over there. Um, but this, this being just a straight stick worm, there's no thin tails or appendages. So you really shouldn't see a whole lot of that green in the actual bait. It should quite literally look like this so we will see okay here we go drum roll please see how we did okay i was totally wrong about the green that's all right Okay, looking good so far. All the baits so far have filled in, and then they look like they are nice, even laminates. This is kind of a cool view. I should do this, I should demold things this way every time, huh? Oh, really, you're gonna go on the top? The last one had to screw it up, didn't it? Yeah, I'm digging this color. I haven't really showed it to you close up yet, but I can tell it's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, let's grab them. All right. And I love having 16 cavities or something. Oh yeah, what do y'all think? Let's kinda of shuffle the deck here. Get them all just kinda of randomly assorted, yeah. Yeah, very good. You know, the yellow could even be more yellow. It, it does, it, it looks more green on camera. I'm looking into my viewfinder. It's, it's definitely more yellow in person, but I like it. This is, this is really, really great. Now the question is, what color skirt? I'm thinking a black skirt. All right, round two on the uh, laminates, and then we'll 
obviously have to move on to the skirts. I think all I'm gonna get is two there. That's all right though. Okay, and there is the second round right there from those two molds. Looking really good, looking really good. Okay, so if memory serves me correct, I did four molds the first time and then two the, six, uh, the next time. So six molds at four cavities. So I believe this is 24 worms right there. We're gonna set those down and run some skirts. All right, and we're just gonna run the first little round of skirts here. And it doesn't take very much plastic to do this. You really can't even feel the injector uh, plunger move. It, it really doesn't even move. So anyway, hopefully that filled. <laughs> we'll find out. The plastic uh, was getting a little cold, but uh, should work. All right, let's see how those look. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, you can see the highlight in them. All right, let's see what one of these might uh, look like on the bait. That'll kind of determine if we keep using these or if we want to go with straight black. Just kind of... Eh. Okay, very interesting there. What do y'all think? I want to go with straight black and a more concentrated black. Okay, hold please. Yeah, so that right there looks a lot better to me. Um, I think it will kind of have a little bit more pop. Again, it's all about pop. Oh, UPS is here. Oh, I wonder, guys, I wonder if Dead on Plastics is coming today. I, uh, oh my God, look at that right there. Okay, yep, yeah, the black definitely works better. All right, here is round two and round three and here's round four round five okay here we go <laughs> let's see what we can do here yeah look at that Super cool. All right, one down, a bunch more to go. Got to be real careful here, of course. And I'm only going to show you just, just a handful of them here. Can't show you every single one. Yeah. That one could be done a little bit better. Try this again. Oh, that's a, oh, y'all see how good that bond is? Oh, and I moved it. Oh, this is a little more difficult than the grubs. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. <sighs> Blow on it. Yeah, we're good. In the pot. And hopefully I can go take these fishing here in just a moment. So I, uh, I actually didn't make all 24 skirts for that reason. I was kind of running out of time, you know, with, with the time change and all of that. I have less daylight hours now. And so I think we were maybe like six skirts short, which, you know, isn't, isn't all that bad. So anyway, this is what we're doing for the next 10 minutes or so. Show you guys one more. And uh, then we're going to bag these up, throw some scent on them, and run them around to a few ponds. And maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, check that out. All right, so now we're going to scent them with cherry scent oil. All right. Yeah, that right there will smell good. And we're just going to toss them like, just like we're cooking. There we go. Super cool. 
now these will slide easily into our bags and uh yeah let's try to let's try to take these fishing y'all okay so we have just a texas rig right there and then we have this one right here on a shaky head with a screw lock and that's very difficult to put on with the skirt on the front um, so those right there are what we're going to be throwing around we're actually down at a dog park so there's probably going to be lots of dog noise in the background but uh hopefully we can catch us a fish all right well, let's make a few casts i'm gonna start with the uh Start with a shaky head first. <laughs> so the shaky head's a little bit too heavy for here. This is this is like oh, I don't know. This is a pretty heavy one, maybe maybe even a half ounce. So it's it's kind of down in the muck a little bit on the bottom. Uh, so we're gonna try the uh, the Texas rig, which uh, won't stay buried down. You know, this is just a small pond, so the bottom just kind of has a lot of snot grass. So uh, we're gonna try the uh, Texas rig. All right, we're down at a new spot. This is Lake Lafayette here in Tallahassee. And let's see if we can catch one. Well, nothing yet, but uh, one positive that I can report on <clears throat> is that after, I don't know, an hour and a half worth of fishing and however many casts that is, the skirt is showing absolutely zero sign of wear and tear. Um, so, you know, that just, I think that really is a testament to the, you know, using the heat knife uh, technique. I mean, it really is one solid piece. The skirt is is the same solid piece of plastic with the actual bait and uh being that i poured it in a craw tube blend on the skirt i mean this thing is pretty indestructible so uh, i do think you get a lot of good use uh out of it out, out of your skirted baits whenever you use that uh, heat knife all right we will try again tomorrow that was a epic failure um man i gotta get away from all these like public you know little spots where everyone can walk up 50 times a day and make a cast i gotta go hit some private holes or something like that so i don't know we will reconvene tomorrow tomorrow uh i'll have a little bit more time so looking forward to that and we will try again all right guys it's the next day so i couldn't catch a fish yesterday so i hired a professional fishing with fishing with norm's gonna save the day and between the two of us, somebody is going to catch a fish on these skirted stick worms. So stay tuned. We're going to have a fish catch. Guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to happen. So here we go. It's literally like a fish aquarium, right? <laughs> Just right here on, on this stand. See, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, see all those bass and brim? Cool. <laughs> and we can't get any of them. Oh, I thought that was a fish for a second. What is it? Oh, it is a fish. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, it was weird. I had like a weird weight on my, yes. <laughs> on my lure. Yes. I was recording. Yes, we're good. <laughs> yes. I knew it would work. There we go. Oh, man. I looked it up and I was like, I thought it was a fish for a second, and it was. <laughs> it, hey, it's the little things in life. There we go. Yes. Okay. The old skirted Cinco. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can use that. Norm. Perfect. Norm saved the day like we all figured that he would. There we go. Not the biggest one in the pond, but uh, well, we, a bass we, is a bass. We can, <laughs> we can maybe grab one more while we're here. So. Yeah. 
Thank God. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give her a little yoink. Yeah. Do what's gotta be done. Oh, that's an SM. There we go. Just out there in the middle. I think he's tiny. Hey, good. Oh, actually, I have no clue. <laughs> Dude, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Dude. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna oh, go down man. for him. <laughs> he felt tiny because he was running at me. We'll see how big he is. Come on. It's like what's behind door number three. Can't see him, but oh, the water's freezing, dude. You see it out there in the middle. It's just like hanging out. <laughs> dude, I don't even see him. Oh, here he is. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Ugh. Dude, that's like a three. Yeah. That thing's huge. Healthy too. Well, Might get you to get a picture of me real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, let's uh I don't even know if I don't I love my phone in my car. You have your phone yeah, by chance? Yeah. Dude, what a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. You know, that's crazy. I mean, that, there's like talc and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells so good here. All right. There we go. Sweet. What a freaking fish. Oh my, dude, that is just, that is just awesome. I was not expecting to fish that big. I was expecting, you know, it's like a little spun out stinkers. Let her kind of go. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I was just out there in the middle. I was just. This thing about out here is there's no, there's no real strategy to it. It's just kind of like nope. throwing your worm in a bucket. Okay, so for today's color of the day, we're going to do a color that I like to call mint chocolate chip. It is a beautiful natural shad color, and uh, I used to make this a lot uh, back when I was selling baits uh, pretty much full time. Blue highlight is the only color base, okay? So we're not adding any liquid pigments, any other color whatsoever. <clears throat> We're just adding blue highlight, small blue flake, that's the .008. All right, so a little bit of that. Not too much. All right. And then we want to add some medium-sized black flake, okay? So just three parts to this uh, color here, to this recipe. And it is an incredible shad color. Like, make a few of these in like a small swim bait right now we're about to make some jerk baits with it and uh, i think you'll really really like what you get i mean look at that beautiful well got to get the rest of that powder stirred in but you can kind of see the vibe that we're getting there really really nice natural shad color but it has a little bit of flake for texture all right, here we go. We're gonna see if we can get all three of these jerkbait molds. I don't think I can with this injector, but we're gonna get at least two of them, I would have to imagine. And that will give us uh, plenty of examples to look at this color. Super awesome color again. Yeah, we're only gonna get two. Been making this color since probably 2013. And uh, it's pretty every time, never let you down. So anyway, we will show those to you in just a moment. Yeah, there it is. Is that not cool? And is that not an awesome shad jerkbait, little swimbait color? Yeah. Really cool stuff there. Yep, mint chocolate chip. Gorgeous. Love the blue highlight effect. That little blue flake in there and the black flake to me just kind of gives it a nice little texture. And uh, yeah, that is today's color of the day. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap this video up. Skirted stickworms, I had a blast making them. Um, man, there's just so many things that I want to do with that skirt mold. Um, stay tuned, there's definitely going to be more. But yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to Norm. Thanks for coming in and saving the day and catching those fish. I knew those baits would catch fish 100%. And uh, yeah, he was able to, to, to get the two bites. So thank you so much, buddy. Had a blast hanging out. Uh, we actually filmed a video that's going to be on Norm's channel, Frankensteining a bunch of crazy looking baits. Um, so be on the lookout for on Norm's channel, maybe in a week or so. Um, 
So he uh, he normally has a few uploads like waiting to go, and uh, and then this one will um, come around in a week or so. Shout out to the uh, new Dead On Plastic shirts. Those things right there are pretty sweet. So we're going to uh, sign this one off. Leave me lots of comments down below. Let me know uh, what you thought of those uh, baits in today's video. Also, how you liked the color of the day. And um, yeah, we're out of here.